learn that uh, how we can calculate uh, evaluate risk uh, by 10 different methods as uh, I have already explained in my uh, previous video lecture. Uh, now, first of all, uh, we'll take the data. We will take live data by using uh, stock history function. Now, let's say our stock is Microsoft. And we want to get the data for one year period and it is uh, daily data. So we will subtract minus three, we will subtract 365 from today function and then today we need daily data. So we will press option zero and then we want header as well. And uh, we want date as well as closing price. Now just press enter. You can see that we have uh, daily data. Uh, now it starts from uh, 20th uh, January 2022. Uh, we can see its last date as well, 19. Uh, now first of all, we calculate uh, uh, log return. For log return, we use log function, then ending price divided by beginning price and now this is our first return and just copy it down now we have how many returns uh, 250 returns now first of all we uh, sort the data uh, we want to use uh, this first method so our data should be uh, sorted uh, we should sort the data uh, just copy this data and convert into value. So oh, this is our sorted data. Uh, sorry, uh, this data are in numbers. And now we should sort this data. I'll select the data. And then go to here. And then A to Z and continue with current selection. Now oh, this is our sorted data. Now, for example, we have investment amount that is uh, 100,000. Now, total number of observation, e probability to get the war, uh, confidence level for delta war, and then level of significance. So first we will count the number of observations with the help of count function. And then say we want to get the value at risk, historical value at risk at 5% probability. Our confidence level is 90%, so level of significance would be this one now we, we want to take confidence number 95 percent now we want to get the position of uh, historical war uh, to do this multiply number of observation uh, with probability and uh, round it to two, uh, zero decimal places. Now the position is 13 and just uh, count uh, where this position exists. Uh, now this is the position, just highlight it. So you can get uh, value at risk by first method manually. Now in, uh, instead of uh, copying uh, the data and then we convert this data into values and then we use sort uh, 
function, uh, not sort function, but with the help of uh, a sort uh, uh, option that is available in Excel. And now we can use uh, sort and rank function as well. But, but before uh, going to use this one, uh, with the help of small function, uh, we can get this value at risk as well. Small. Now our data start in from C4 to C253. And get 13 smallest number. So we will get the same answer. Uh, now with the help of sort and rank function. Now, now first of all, we will sort the data by using this sort function. And here is the array. And then uh, we have a sort index. Just leave this one. And then uh, in ascending order, use one option. You can see that here we have the sort index exactly the same. And it is much easier. Uh, now, to get the, uh, the position, right position, we should rank uh, uh, this sorted list, uh, list as well. For this purpose, we will use the uh, rank function. Now the first number, as we know that it's the uh, rank is first, and then the array, that should be fixed comma then in its ending order we will use one now just copy it down now we have ranked the list now after using sorting function and rank function we can get this value address manually and just pick this one. Uh, this is the third way to get uh, uh, value at risk. Uh, even we have a percentile function and that is very much convenient. Just use percentile function. And then here is the array. You can use uh, this array. Come on then. Probability and probability is uh, five percent. And here you can see that you have uh, get this number directly, and then uh, you can get uh, this number uh, by using VLOOKUP function or XLOOKUP function. Uh, in fifth way, by uh, using VLOOKUP, we need thirteen position. And our uh, table array is uh, this one. And our column index number that we want to display that is two. Here you can see that uh, again, we have the same answer. So uh, this is basically historical war that uh, uh, we were calculating or we were getting uh, with five different ways. And then uh, usually uh, uh, we take the assumption of normal distribution. For that purpose, uh, we use uh, delta normal method. Again, I'm uh, explaining that uh, this is historical value address for single asset. Later on, um, I will explain that uh, how we can get this historical uh, value address or uh, delta normal for portfolio. Uh, for portfolio as well. Now, for this purpose, for using uh, delta normal method, we need a Z value. So first of all, we will get a Z value. And uh, manually, you can get it uh, from table. Here, we will use norm uh, inverse function. And then probability is alpha, level of significance. And then we need standard deviation. Standard deviation sample. And again, uh, if you want to calculate manually, you will have to calculate uh, 
standard deviation manually by using summation x square by n minus summation or uh, summation x minus x square divided by n minus 1 whole square. Uh, now, uh, here we have the data, this one. And fix it. Now, oh, this is our standard deviation. And for average, just copy it down and uh, change with average. Here we have average function. Oh, this is average, that is mean. Now for relative R, according to delta normal method, uh, just we take uh, uh, this Z value as well as uh, standard deviation. So the first one, uh, now according to uh, explained method in my uh, previous video, uh, this, uh, this is number six. So this is basically your relative R, just we multiply is two means z table value multiplied by standard deviation and uh, uh, in absolute var we also adjust uh, its average return as well and uh, that is called uh, absolute var now this one as it is adjusted for mean return so uh, there is a uh, difference between uh, historical var and delta nor because delta normal is uh, uh, method is based on uh, normal distribution. Now you, we can check that whether the data is normally distributed or not. Uh, just go to the data. These are our returns. Select the range and go to insert. And here we have recommended chart and then use this one. Here you can see that uh, it is not exactly normal. Uh, it seems to be that uh, there is some problem of uh, normality. Uh, uh, so we should adjust uh, this for uh, skewness as well as for uh, tortoises. So thank you very much. Uh, I will explain all uh, these adjustments of value at risk uh, in my uh, next video lecture.